So about four months ago, I did the history of Fortnite season teasers, and honestly, I'm just doing it again, but this time with collabs. Why? You have to hate myself on a lot of torture myself for YouTube. Please subscribe. The Fortnite collabs are basically the face of Fortnite at this point. We get one like at least once a week probably. And most of the time we get teasers for them, but other times they just drop out of nowhere or Fortnite just announces them instead of like building up the hype, which I feel like teasers are meant to do, so I feel like they should start doing more teasers. So today I'm going to be going through all the teasers that we got released for Fortnite collab. So you guys enjoy, drop a subscribe to this video, you guys are going for Arm Shop, you guys use my code, get rest of my team for Arm Shop, and let's go. First off, we have this teaser, which was for the Fortnite X Avengers Infinity War LTM or the Infinity Gauntlet game mode. In the picture, we see the Omega skin, and we see the Thanos skin, which was only for the LTM before it became a skin in Chapter 2 Season 7. And in the background, we see Snap with the caption about the tomorrow. I want to really count this as a teaser because, like, it kind of, like, told us, like, what it was going to lead up to, like, the event of the Fairy War on LTM. But it's so pretty cool. Next up, keeping on the topic of Avengers, we have the Fortnite X Avengers Endgame teaser, which happened in Season 8, four seasons after Infinity War LTM. In this picture, we see a pink background with the bright bomber skin holding the Captain America shield. This teaser, you're going to be able to use Avengers Mythics in the upcoming LTM, which was the Endgame LTM. I feel like the Endgame teasers are like some people's like favorite teasers because of how cool they looked. Which I totally agree. Next on the endgame teasers, we have the fist stick skin holding the Stormbreaker pickaxe, which is probably the main reason why people like told Fortnite to like make the Stormbreaker pickaxe be held by everyone. And in the background, we have a bluish purple like background with like the Avengers logo in the middle. So this once again teased how you're gonna go like use like Avengers mythics like in the LT. The final endgame teaser, we have the Raptor skin holding the Iron Man gloves with an orange background with the Avengers logo once again. And this is obviously teasing like how we're going to be using the Iron Man Mythic in the endgame of LTM. Before we move on, I just want to say like how we didn't get one for a color team leader and Hawkeye. I don't know why. Next up for collabs, we have the Stranger Thing collab. And for this teaser, we have the upside down portals that were placed around Mega Mall. These came out, I'm pretty sure, a day or so before the um, Stranger Things skins came out, which was Demogorgon and Chief Hopper. So this was teasing at the Stranger Things collab coming big game. Honestly, pretty cool. There's so many like fun things to do with them, like tease people, like to make them die of trap by like, going through them and all that stuff. They're just fun and like easy teleport. I hope like when we if we get like another Stranger Things collab, we get like these back as a location. Or even around the map, that'd be cool. Next up we have the Itch Chapter 2 collab, which was kind of a weird teaser. We just got balloons around the map, like around the sewers, and when you popped them they did the Pennywise laugh. Honestly, people thought this was gonna lead to a Pennywise skin, but never did, sadly. I feel like a Pennywise skin would be so cool. And actually fun fact, according to the Fortnite wiki. Fortnite actually used like the Pennywise laugh sound without like the permission, so was it seeming like an official collab or they just like teased us or something like that? I don't really know. Next up we have the Live at Risky Reels or the Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker collab teaser. The first teaser is at Risky Reels where there was a green screen with like the words saying like Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker with like live, with the time and all that stuff. Saying like they're, we're gonna get like a early preview or something like that. Next up we have posters posted around the whole entire Fortnite map that says Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, live from the Scoot Wheels, the date, early preview, all that stuff. Basically the same thing on like the screen, but instead of like a green background, it's cool and black, which is pretty cool. And finally we have an extended like picture of what's on the posters, which is basically the same thing. Yeah. Overall, I feel like the teaser just overhyped the event because at the end it just seemed like a boring event. The teaser just made it seem like it was just gonna be a, um, teaser just made it seem like it was just gonna be like an early preview of like the new movie. But of course, like it was more than that, like talking, like trivia. The only good part was like probably the lightsabers. But anyway, moving on. Next up, we have Fortnite X Air Jordan for all of like a black and red picture with Fortnite X Air Jordan. With, like, yeah, pretty boring teaser, honestly. Next up, we have three Icon Series creators, but we're only going to be talking about one right now, and we're going to be talking about Ninja, the first ever Icon Series skin to be announced. And it was announced in this blog post that he was going to be doing the Icon Series skin first with who different refs can come next. 
which of course we have to even have next, but we'll get to that later. Which isn't really a teaser, but more of an announcement because like they announced like the next icon series game which is gonna be ninja, but still kinda tease like what like the ninja skin was gonna look like. So I'm still gonna count it. Next up we have a Harley Quinn teaser where we got Harley Quinn's mallet with two hair pieces on each side of the mallet. One side having like pink on like its end and one side having blue on its end. And we have a green background with a bunch of time marks around it, which is pretty cool. So this is T's Harley Quinn from the game. Next up we have the Deadpool teaser, and for the first one we have the story trailer for Chapter 2 Season 2. When Peely changes into Agent Peely and goes behind the bookshelf, you can see Deadpool a little bit, and that's T's Deadpool. And in the Battle Pass trailer, at the end when they're showing all the skins, Deadpool walks in, pointing at it, and Deadpool is actually in the picture and a pile of key bucks. Next up we have Deadpool's secret battle pass room, which is the bathroom, where every week he got challenges to unlock something part of his set, and you have to win you can unlock his skin. And every week he was doing something in the bathroom, like hiding or drowning or something. Here's a video by Perfect Score to show all his like stuff he's doing in the bathroom to shout the perfect score. I don't really know if this is a teaser or not, but we have this picture of Travis Scott being leaked. I don't know where like the source found it finding the high packs back then, but probably was something for like the battle pass because like it was next to Maya which is also in the battle pass. So I'm just gonna count this as a teaser. I was debating on adding this or not, but why not? Next up we have Aquaman and he got teased during the chapter 2 season 3 battle pass trailer and the uh, launch trailer. In the launch trailer he was running a giant flopper and in the battle pass teaser he was flexing and showing off his second style. Next up for Captain America, according to the Fortnite wiki, he was teased in a letter from Epic to Content Creator with the support creator code. I couldn't find the letter. I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm just gonna guess it is. Next up, we have the Lose the Fruit Icon Series skin. Of course, the first teaser is gonna go back to like the Ninja announcement for the Icon Series skin, so that's one of our teasers. So the other one is in this video she made called So I Leak My Fortnite Skin, where she wore a cosplay version of her Fortnite skin to a Fortnite event. And that was when people didn't know like she was gonna get Icon Series skin except for her and Epic Games. So, yeah, it's still kind of like a teaser. So next up we have Chapter 2 Season 4, which is the Marvel season, and I already like went through all like the teasers like in my first video, which was the history of when I seen the teasers. So I'm just gonna be lazy and I'm gonna be playing like my own video so I don't have to like talk again and like show all the teasers and all that stuff. So enjoy that. Go type up the full video on YouTube and yeah, I'll see you for the next collab. We're gonna start off with this comic book, which I'm showing in the background right now because this kind of teased that it was going to be a Marvel season because like the comic book and like the battle pass screen would show like Galactus and Thor going to be to the island.
Next up, we have five videos that show pages from the comic books that spell the word Nexus, which is pretty cool because, like, the season was called Nexus Wars. And we have a video of Thor and the words Fortnite and the marble with the date 8 2020 at the top. And then the final teaser we have is Galactus and a Shard, which I guess was set out to creators according to like the website I got this from. So that's pretty cool because it teased Galactus as like the villain in like the event and like in the season. Next up we have the Ghostbusters collab and on like the far island to like the left of the island we have like a little like farm like shack and like in one of the farms like we have the Echo One covered up which was teasing the Ghostbusters collab. First they never did anything with this stay covered like for the rest of this chapter and never got revealed ever again. So I don't know what Fortnite was doing but it teased and we got Ghostbusters skins. Yes. Next up we have the Lachlan Icon Series skin and he actually has four teasers to being of his actual videos. The first one is this picture of like the power backlight or like his logo or like the Icon Series skin logo right next to it. Next up we have the three original main creators that were going to be like the first three Icon Series skins. Of course Ninja and Lula Fring both got theirs but apparently Lachlan and Gref G's got like their Icon Series skins flipped so... Lachlan's came out first and Gref G's came out second. Next up we have Lachlan's announcement video where he just says like he's gonna be getting an Icon Series skin and releases like the... like a short little trailer of him like playing Fortnite for like the two chapters so far. And he also announces like the date... it's either the date of the Icon Series skin or the date of his release, I forgot. And he does that while playing a game while talking about like the Icon Series skin and his YouTube history. Which is pretty cool. Next up we have a video of Lachlan like revealing like a silhouette of this Icon Series skin and he also announces like the um the tournament for his Icon Series skin and like what's gonna be in it and how like it released like one of his videos for custom games. Yeah pretty cool. Next up we have chapter 2 season 5 and this one's gonna be a pin in the butt. This because Fortnite sent out like something to creators that like shows a bunch of like references and teasers to like who's gonna be coming next to Fortnite and Almost all the characters on here are like referenced in that little like set of like stuff that like, they sent the creator. So yeah, there's like a bunch of stuff I'm gonna have to research. So yeah, let's just get started. And you have a Mandalorian. We're gonna be starting with the Jones backpack, and we're gonna be starting off with the cup. Well, it's a reference to Baby Yoda slash Gorgu. Any other ones in the Battle Pass trailer where he just shows up because of Jones? Yeah. Moving on the cradles, we have Jones' backpack, and in the Jones' backpack, we have red face paint to reference Kratos and his tattoos. Definitely feel like they could have chose something better for that one. And next up, we have Master Chief, but once again, we're going to be starting with the Jones' backpack. This time, he has red and blue jelly beans to reference red versus blue. Who came up with these ideas at Epic Games? And as for Master Chief, we have his trailer because it was teased at the Game Awards. Moving on to Darren and Michonne, we have the first teaser, which was the trailer once again revealed at the Game Awards the same year. And just like the Jones backpack, we have another annoying thing, which is portals. If you guys don't remember back in chapter 2, season 5, we had portals that like, were open to like get people like to the island. So, most of these characters went through a portal. And one of them being Michonne and Daryl. Moving on to the Royalty and Warriors pack, we have the Black Panther location that was back in Chapter 2, Season 4. But the skin came out in Chapter 2, Season 5 because we're passing each other Bozeman, so we wanted to delay the skin the next season. The other teaser is a portal, pretty plain portal if you ask me. It's just like the galaxy, but I think it's done much better. And like when you get close, close to it, it plays normal music. Yeah. Next up we have the Graf G Icon Series skin, and we're also just gonna get the big one out of the way. The teaser for the Ninja and Lucifer and Graf G Icon Series skin. Next up we have this picture of its Icon Series skin with the Graf G logo and the Fortnite Icon Series logo with the skin to the right of it. Next up we have the same photo, but this time it's on the active style and the color changes in the background. Too. Next up we have this teaser that shows this whole entire set. And last up we have this picture which is the same as the first two pictures but the skin is blacked out. Next up for the Predator we once again go back to Jones' backpack where this time it's a mud sheet mask because apparently in the movie this guy named Dutch covered himself in mud to 
covering himself from the thermal vision from the Predator. I would never know that because I never watched the movie, so um, I guess some people might get the reference. Next up, we have Selfie Stronghold, which was here since the beginning of the season. Which also teased the Predator because the Predator boss was there like when the skin released. Pretty sure people thought that was going to be a Jurassic World reference and we are going to get Jurassic World skins like that season but we never did. But finally we got the portals or the portal for the Predator which was near Selfie Stronghold. Except we have the Sarah Connor skin and the T-800 skin and the first one is a Jones backpack one where there are sunglasses that looks like the ones that Terminator wore so that's actually a pretty good reference, actually. And the final one we have is a portal. Yay. Next up, we're going back to the Jones backpack, and we're going to be looking at Flash. Apparently, in the backpack, there was a back scratcher with a red ring on it, and that's a reference to where he stores his costume. Was that in the TV show? Next up, we have Tron. There was no pictures. There was nothing in the Jones backpack. Instead, we just got one portal that reference Tron. Next up for Ryan and Chun Li, we have both a portal, which was on the map, and in the Jones backpack we have hand wraps, which Ryu uses for um, boxing gloves apparently. Next up for Xenomorph, we have in the Jones backpack we have a pack of astronaut bananas for the shape of Xenomorph's head. What the heck? Oh, I don't care, we also have a portal. Next up for Laser Beam, we actually have four teasers. We have Laser Beam being on um, Party Royale Radio. Here's a video by Tiber Hill that showcases a little, so shout out to Tiber Hill. Uh, well, I think there's still music playing on this thing. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be, what song it is. Hopefully, you enjoy it. Uh, I'll be back. That was easy. I'm in. I'm on the radio. Hi, Mom. I thought that would be way harder. Hey, everyone. Let's go. Next up, we have a series of tweets that Laser Beam made when he quote unquote hacked the Fortnite Twitter. We have a picture of him laying down with his face. And we have a picture of him saying hi mom in Fortnite with his Icon series skin set. He did more tweets like this, but one of them got taken down like where he said poggers and I don't know why they took that down, but they didn't take down the rest of them, but whatever. And finally for Ant-Man, which is our final Chapter 2 Season 5 skin, we have five seasons for him. We have back in Chapter 2 Season 4, uh, the Ant-Man location. I'm guessing Ant-Man was supposed to come out of that season, or they're just teasing him for Chapter 2 Season 5. Who knows? We have a picture of the X-Force, but they added Ant-Man in on Cable's arm. Next up, we have a picture of Blade with Ant-Man being added on Blade's sword. Next up, we have a picture of Captain America with Ant-Man on Captain America's shoulder. This might be a Civil War reference. No one asked you to look, Tony. It's ridiculous. I think you look great, Cap. As far as I'm concerned, that's America's ass. And finally, we have in the Jones backpack, we have an Ant-Man farm, which because of ants. 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 This is like, probably like the only reference that makes sense. Of all of them. And on the Neymar Jr., we have this picture of Neymar Jr. with like a black wolf in the background. I guess it's the name for Neymar Jr., I don't really know. And we have another black wolf with like the shush, like free, like the middle. And we have two Neymar Jr. teasers with both of his um, styles like being added in. Next up for Beast Boy, we kind of go back to like what they did for Chapter 2 Season 4 teasers, like where it's a comic book. And there's three pages where Raven needs Beast Boy's help and Beast Boy comes to the island. Off topic, but I still want a Robin and Cyborg skin to complete the Teen Titans. We already have Raven, Beast Boy, and Starfire. Why can't we just get the rest of them? Next up for Kelsier, we have this picture that says, You're the one they call the survivor. Those scars on your arms give you away. You're a troublemaker. With the Fortnite logo at the bottom and some logo at the top. I never read the book, so I don't really know what that logo means or what it is, so... Yeah. Next up for Rick Sanchez, we have one of the Chapter 2 Season 7 teasers where there's a butter robot, obviously referencing to Rick and Morty. Next up for Superman, we have another Chapter 2 Season 7 teaser where he had Clark Kent's glasses. Last up for the Season 7 teasers, we have Googiemon, which is teased by, like, the Fisic Genki. 
or janky, whatever you call them. Then for Loki, we have this picture which shows his horns, the Fortnite logo, and the Avengers logo with V-Bucks and Battle Stars in a green background in the background, which shows that Loki's going to be in the next Fortnite Crew skin. Next up for LeBron James, we have this Moro that was painted. The Moro has like the wings that he uses for the glider, the crown that like is on the skin, the Fortnite logo, and the date of his Fortnite release skin. Next up for Ariana Grande, we have this photo, which shows a shard with the Fortnite logo and Rift Tour with the dates August 6th to 8th, which is when the Rift Tour ran. They didn't reveal anything about Ariana Grande. I think Fortnite just like revealed that later. Next up we have Cami and Guile, which is actually a pretty cool teaser. We have this photo of a Street Fighter arcade machine, and it shows a bunch of Street Fighter characters, including Ryu, Chun-Li, Cami, and Guile. I don't know if like the last two skins we got are there, but this is also kind of teasing how like we can get more Street Fighter skins in the future, which we did after King and Guile, but we haven't gotten any after like the last two. Next up, we have another comic book, but this time it's only one page instead of multiple pages, and it's from Marvel in Aurora. It shows how people need help on the Fortnite island because of the alien attacks back in chapter 2 and 7, so Gamora's coming. Off topic once again, but I hope like they actually finish like the Guardians of the Galaxy soon. I know they're missing Drax, but like we need like an actual Star Lord skin. We have like the Star Lord skin like we got back in season 8. That's not really official, it's just like some guy in a costume, like cosplay. They said we have Jay Blavin's teaser, and it is a picture of a smiley face with electric eyes and rainbow with the Fortnite logo up in the corner, which is also rainbow. Is this like Jay Blavin's like logo or something, like brand or something he uses? Because I don't know what that logo is. He said for Carnage, we have the Chapter 2 Season 8 teaser video where you have to like get a QR code and a to like some secret like um, YouTube link. And it shows Carnage for a few seconds teasing that we're going to be getting Carnage in the Battle Pass. So you guys remember back in Chapter 2 Season 8, we had four Nightmares, and during that four Nightmares, like, they reveal cards that, like, we're supposed to, like, reveal, like, the next four Nights skin. And some of those skins were collab skins, so I had to, like, go through, like, all the cards and see, like, what skins were, like, for what skin. Shout out to Fortnite Souls video for telling me what cards were for what skins, because that's what take me forever and a bunch of research if I didn't find that video. But moving on to the first card, we have Frankenstein's Monster, which had, I'm pretty sure that's a brain or something like that. Next up, we have Rick Grimes, which has a cowboy hat or a sheriff's hat or something like that. Pretty sure that star in the hat is, like, referencing the, to, like, a sheriff hat or something. Next up for cause, we just have his face on the card. We keep that a secret. Next up for Space Ariana Grande. I don't know the actual name of that. I'll just call her a Space Ariana Grande. We have a pig that has a skull on it. That's referencing Piggy Smalls that came with her set. Next up for the mummy, we have a hand that looks like it's wrapped in paper or like a mummy's hand. And finally, ending the cards, we have Frankenstein's Bride with two electrical poses. Make sure that's used to like make like Frankenstein come alive or something like that. Next up we have the Fortnite X Naruto collab, and here it says Believe It 11 16 21. I think if it just said believe it and, and like remove like the Narto logo from it, I feel like it would have been like more of a teaser for Narto, but whatever. And we have this image that says Fortnite x Narto. We also have this teaser that turned out to be a loading screen later of Narto eating pizza at Pizza Pit. And then finally, this was like our first look at like the Fortnite x Narto collab when somewhere in somewhere else, not the United States, like saw this on like a newspaper of uh, Fortnite x Narto. So this was like our first look at like the Fortnite x Narto skins. As we're going to be combining the Spider-Man and the Gears of War collab into one because like they're both in the story trailer. So the first one is Spider-Man where you can see him and his other styles hanging on during like his um, built-in emote. Then you also see the boy in the Gears of War set. His name is like Marcus, like um, shooting at someone and then reloading with like the other girl, whatever her name is, teasing the Gears of War collab. Next up we see this photo which was posted weeks before the actual release day of Boba Fett and Panic Shard. So that sees them. Then moving on to the story trailer for Chapter 3 Season 2, we see Doctor Strange and Prowler in the trailer teasing them to be in the battle pass. Next up for the LEA skin, we have this video that LEA posted 24 hours before his Icon Series skin got revealed. This shows his old skin, Guile, who is talking, saying goodbye because they're gonna move on to like the LEA skin. Pretty good teaser, reveals like the Icon Series skin pretty good. And yeah, I also wanted to add like that, like one little detail, like in the Fortnite Discord, like where they added like a um, 
like a dinosaur for like who's like your favorite icon series skin and people thought it was LEA with eventually came true. I made a video on that if you guys want to watch that. Next up we have Darth Vader who was teased in both the chapter 3 season 3 battle pass trailer and story trailer. In the story trailer Darth Vader can be seen force lifting an Imperial Stormtrooper and knocking Peely off the roller coaster with the ballers. And at the end of the battle pass trailer you can see Darth Vader uses mythic and also force choke people or force choke someone closer to us which is not possible in the game because they never added that so kind of like misinformation and during the closing event obi-wan kenobi and darth vader could both be seen in zero point next up for cause peely cause posted this picture saying dear fortnite see you soon cause with a picture of banana teasing at the cause peely skin now for the first dragon ball collab we have this picture of the dragon above the reality tree and then we also have this picture that says fortnite x dragon ball super with an orange background orange and yellow background next up we're gonna be going for like the chapter for season one cinematic trailer because like there's a bunch of like things and references that like not to be collapsed so let's get started first up we got doom slayer fighting an alien thing i don't know what those are called because i never played doom this is for the Geralt of bravaria we have him floating trying to get to his horse which turned out to be a glider later next up we have hulk running a motorcycle and mr beast being held by the leg by a zero point arm finally from the trailer we have all might's pickaxe being like from the tip zero point through the trailer next up we have like this little like teaser video from fortnite posted on twitter showing like what's gonna be coming in december showing names like mr beast my hero academia and the one that hasn't been revealed yet yana's ante Kupo. next up for killer roy we have this picture that says fortnite plus the killer roy and it has like some like Wide background, and at the bottom we see a music icon, which was a radio station that Kid Leroy was be playing on until like he got his own Fortnite skin. This isn't really much of a teaser, but we got like this trailer that like showed that like Kid Leroy is gonna get his own concert. Very weird trailer, but it's still a teaser, I guess. For the next Dragon Ball collab, where we got Gohan Piccolo, we got this teaser, which shows one of their gliders. We see like a location on the map. This was near Slappy, I'm pretty sure. Or it's still near slappy. Next up for like Attack on Titans in general, because a lot of people trying to pronounce their names. We got this trailer which was posted on the Fortnite Twitter that shows we're getting two brand new skins. I'm gonna put their names on the screen right now because I'm not gonna try to pronounce them. Next up we have the chapter four season two trailer which shows Aaron and how he's gonna be a skin. And also shows a little bit of like the ODM gear. And finally, we have this trailer for Across the Spider-Verse for when Miles is coming out saying where is Miles? Looking back at these teasers now, it seems like Fortnite has kind of slowed down getting us collab teasers. This kind of started back in Season 6 of so Chapter 2, like where we just started getting like less after that collab season for Season 5. We've been getting less teasers, more trailers, and just more drops out of nowhere. I feel like for some collabs, Fortnite is going to keep giving us like teasers, but for most collabs, they're just going to like drop them out of nowhere, just like do something else with them. But I feel like we're never going to go back to like 100% teasers. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, turn on the notifications for the video. And if you guys want to see more for the Iron Shop, you guys can get a code. Give us some ID for Iron Shop. See you next time. Goodbye.